Hello everyone, and welcome back to my permadeath run. I am a little bit upset. See, I had gone through, gotten a couple of treasures, and my software decided, I'm not going to record the second half of your video. Did the first half, had a friend come over, so I stopped and hung out with them for a little bit, as it was unexpected. And then, all of a sudden, I'm trying to record the second half of it where I found the second treasure off over there. And yeah, it just did not record. I was very, very upset with that fact. I even killed a snake right at the end of the episode. I know that's unimportant. Wait, did I just... Sweet. Anyway, sorry, I'm sidetracked. The chests gave me a decent amount of dukes, which I didn't actually take out of my inventory. And they gave me some nice AK parts and nice sniper parts, which I have yet to even put together. I was going to save them for my episode after Horde Night where I go to Higashi Pharmaceutical. I am so wanting to go into that place and show it who's boss. But thank you, seven days... Not seven days to die, you're amazing. No, thanks OBS for deciding I'm not going to record part of your video. But I also set up a chem station. I showcased it at the beginning of the last episode, but of course... That can't be shown now. And I made... Oh, yeah, I did. There we go. So we have a gun safe now. Which is going right there. And I have a desk safe. Which is going to hold all my money. And it... Is going to go... Right there. It's floating, but you know, I don't care. It works. So all of the dukes I have, or things that I am going to sell, will be going inside of there. I need to start organizing in order to save space inside these chests. Because the way I have it right now is beyond ridiculous. Ah, the sound of Fortnite. Who doesn't love that sound? I don't like that sound just before Horde Night, though. For that reason right there. Darn it, lady! Ugh, oh, right at Horde Night. Like, come on. Where? Like, seriously, where? Thanks for screaming, darling. But if you're not an avid person of the forums, I do have some news. As far as the zombies go, they're actually getting smarter as far as blocks go. They will now target your weakest blocks, and if you kill the zombie that is currently targeting said block, Another one will come to that, so if you want to keep them away from there, you will be having to repair. It is now a thing. It's going to make Horde Knights more difficult. Personally, I am looking forward to it. The challenge is always welcome. And the fun pimps are doing really well, especially Fatal. He's the guy that's been running all this stuff, getting it working. The other fun pimps I know are helping, but he's the one that's been stating it all. So, gotta give him props for getting her done. We needed the challenge. We're getting the challenge. And I welcome it with open arms. They've also talked about how you will be able to build yourself a class system for yourself. Not done as in... Hello, what type of warrior are you? Like some games do. No, 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 no. For this one, it's gonna be based on your stats, and there are gonna be five main stats. This is according to the one moderator for the info he's allowed to leak. And that's going to basically help us pick exactly what type of character we would like to be. I'm looking forward to it because 
Now, if somebody, say, wanted to do a run as a nomad, they can. If somebody wanted to do a run, say, kind of like the nomad, but they purposely go hunting the zombies, they can. I might even do a run like that. I would call it the Slayer. And the Slayer run would basically be me running around and just murdering zombies. And that's all I do. I go into buildings, I loot them, I don't take anything. I don't need feathers on Fortnite. Here comes the horde. They're coming. Hello, utility worker. Welcome to my humble abode. Nothing. I haven't seen any reason to bust out my Molotovs yet. Ow. Bring you guys over here. A feral carcass? I didn't even notice. Alright. Mining helmet, always useful. Disturbed tourist is now gone. Utility worker zombie, thank you. Rotting carcass, thank you. Hungry zombie, thank you. Too many fat zombies. Time to clear the playing field a little bit. There we go. Now I can go back to normal. Now where are you guys busting your legs this time? right there? Yeah, okay. Ah, there are a couple over here. Sweet. Hi, Hungry Zombie. Thank you. Hungry Zombie, thank you. Why, hello, nurse. Thank you. Yo, you're chubby. Zombie businessman, give me a present. Come on over here, chubby. Aww. Thank you, hungry zombie. Thank you for the mind. And future girl died before I could kill her. Buster of my base. Thank you. Thank you. Many thanks. Aw, 
corners. Okay, so I've had some deaths over here because they've been trying to get me from this side too. Not bad at all. Level up, ladies and gentlemen. A feral man. Too many of you crowded together. Nope, come this way, please. Thank you for listening to me. Over here, please. All the spikes do their job. I should really put a hatch on that. Time to come up and store some crap. This is why I need organization. But now with the chem station, I'll be able to turn some of those things into other items and make life useful. Alright, now before they all die. Before some of them fall like that. Well, while they're dying on spikes elsewhere. Think you're bad boy. Oh, I'm gonna need a second one. Holy crap! Oh, your carcass is in my way. cleaning house right now, so please bugger off.
I did not spider-proof my base, so feel free to come after me. There you are. Well, I didn't spider-proof my base, but clearly he can't run up poles, even if they are done in block fashion inside the game's data. Good night. Thank you. Have a good day. May as well do the cleanup now. I mean, what else do I have to do, right? Good way to get the scavenging skill up, though. need more space to store crap. <sighs> not fair, not fair, not fair. Scrap, scrap. Drink. Well, I do have some money there, so I'll store that at least. And actually, this mining helmet I can store because it... Well, let's repair it first. It's going to be worth a good chunk. Now, let's see here. Ah, right. I was going to do this. Uh, S. T. O. Behind the smelters, I have these spaces here. Which I'm going to use with my boxes like I did earlier. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Now sign. Four of those. Dude, I'm trying to think. Alright, so... I'll write him in the way. In there. No! Perfect. So we'll do this one. Without damaging it. Smelting! Oh, you... Annoying, ugly monsters. Where? They have way too much health. Now, if I'm done being interrupted, smelting, adhesives, fabrics, 
mechanical. And electrical parts. Components. Plastic. Done. Now I'll be able to start sorting and organizing. Which will make this a little bit easier. So, let's just do a quick swing through for the smeltable materials. Okay, that'll do. But I got the mech parts on me, so... Back to what I was doing. Smeltable, smelt, smelt. Smelt, smelt. Ooh, money. Plastic, mechanical parts. Plastic, mechanical parts. Smelt, 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 smelt. May as well stick that in there and that. Adhesives. Bones are used to make glue, so it makes sense. Fabrics. Done. And that was Horde Night! I really wish you guys had saw what I did earlier for where those treasures were. Like, it makes me feel so bad when that happens, when my software screws up. Because it's like, oh, great. Now they don't get to see what I actually did. That's rude. And I don't like to leave you guys out of it. Anybody who's watching, I, I absolutely loathe leaving you guys out of when I go to find stuff. So because my game is a jerk, to make up for it, I am totally going to run and grab this new treasure that I found. Because, why not? Oh, wait, 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 So I'm gonna grab that treasure chest map, toss a bunch of other crap in there that I don't need right now, as the organizing will continue. More than likely off-camera. I'll take my wrench with me, I'll take my nail gun with me again, and my auger, of course. Alright. And as I found out last episode, which was amusing, but you couldn't watch it because my computer was gay. First things first, though, let's read the map and find out where it is. So this map is to the east. Oh my god, that is absolutely friggin' hilarious. So that's where that one is. This was where the other one was. That... That half makes my day, not gonna lie. I literally just finished Horde Night. Good night.
Because sometimes, yeah, like I thought, money. Alright, departed woman. Again, hungry zombies, you got tools on you. That's what I thought. Oh, man. First horde night. And then a roaming bloody horde. Like, like are you kidding me right now? So irritating. Alright. Take all that crap because I'm going to sell it. I'll carve up all these dead beats when I get back. Quick way out! Now, do I have my hot clothing still in the bike? Good, I'm going to need it because this turns out to be in the snow biome. And after I grab this treasure, we'll go to the trader, see if he's restocked, have a little fun with his inventory, because, let's face it, I want a chainsaw. It will help me get wood, and then I can upgrade things from basic all the way up, because I like to do it for the extra construction points. stuck on a rock and hit with lag. Oh, all you trees wait. You're taking up much needed space. Oh, another thing that's neat about what they're doing with the new uh, alpha is basically because it's being bean, reworked from the ground up, a lot of the things that were tedious, eating up memory, and causing all this, as I'm seeing here, un unneeded lag, they're fixing a lot of it, which is very good to hear. I don't know if it means that I will need to get a bit stronger of a computer before I could truly play it. We shall see. But as of right now, it's sounding like I'm not going to need as powerful as a ri of a rig. They don't want it to be graphically demanding on people's computers. They want it to look great, but they also want it to run very well on medium computers. So that everyone can enjoy. Not becoming, oh my god, it's just so graphically beautiful. Yeah, they don't want it like that. Alrighty, Rudy Tooty. Wahoo. Okay. Even though I know I could take something better, can I take the last? I can't even take that. My barter skill. Or secret stash. You know what? I'm doing that. I needed to. I don't care. Alright, now. To get the warm stuff on. Thirty, forty, done. Plus three, minus ten. Plus ten, minus ten. There we are. Now I always do a quick run around, just in case it ended up on the surface, and just in case these jerks decide to show up. Because I've actually had it sometimes where the treasure will end up showing right up on the surface. And I don't even have to really hunt for it.
All right, now. Because I'm nearby to him. Whoa, wait, where am I going? Orientation. This is why I wanted to go to the trader. I had a feeling with the bad luck OBS was giving me, the game was gonna give me something back in return. I like that. I love seven days to die. It just knows when you're feeling good. not have that out as I go to the trader. Nobody wants me to be in his inventory with an irritating toy. Make it snappy. I gotta take a crap. Dude, you never move from this counter. I don't believe that you poop. Alright. Anything else to sell before? Before I start selling the money, no, okay, here we go. It's a lot of money to sell. But each individual one gives a little bit to your barter. Selling it all as a stack isn't that bad, but if it did actually go up by a buck during that entire time, I would have lost out a little bit. That hurt my fingers. Alright, now... Damn right, damn right. Alright. Let's look into resources. What you got for me today? Um... Maybe a little bit of stuff. Uh, brass faucet, always useful. I sold you all of those, I swear. Uh, some gunpowder so I don't have to craft it myself. Anything good in your weapons? Just an iron reinforced club at 563, but who needs that? Reinforced steel upgrade could be handy. No food, just coffee and secret stash. This is what I took the upgrade for. Oh, what's my bowstring? Mm. My bow body. Oh, better. Ooh. Eh. Before I do another impulse buy. Do I have that? Yes. Alright, so bowstring, you're mine. Let's upgrade my compound bow. Um, I would go to the... you know what? No refunds. Deal's done. Now beat it, fucker. He is so nice. I like him. Uh, anybody else wish I'd castrate the guy? For being just so rude? Body string out. Yeah, I didn't think I could. Assemble string and body. Bam. Now I've got a blue compound bow. It is dealing a lot of damage. I'm happy about that. Alright, so we're going to go to trader number two. He is just down here. I figure now that I got a couple of traders on the map. In fact, while I was wandering... No, wait. Never mind. I only found a couple of traders so far. I haven't found any new ones yet. I haven't done that much exploring. Let's see. Where is that red? There it is. Ouch. 
Maybe this guy will have some auger parts or even a chainsaw blade so I can finally have a chainsaw for cutting down trees. Because if the chainsaw and the auger are anything similar, it would basically mean that the higher up variant you have of either, the more it'll give you than the axe. Now the axe and the pickaxe are silent. Above anything else, if you were to do the crazy night vision, nighttime resource gathering and pray that zombies don't randomly find you, Oh, dang it. This uneven terrain stuff, I sure hope it's fixed. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whoa, thank you. The world is having to load around me. I am catching freezing air. Almost literally. My world is coming into view. Here we go. Some desert region. That means I'm getting close to him. doesn't know what to load next. This is so sad. Should be just over here. Actually, while my world is sitting there loading around me... Ah, uh, he's still a ways away. Darn, I was hoping I was getting close. But at the very least, I might find some other interesting POIs. I wouldn't mind finding another Native American burial ground. Having uh, another hatchet would be nice. I've always wanted to get one of those things to 600 before the new update. But in the new update, it'll be more or less... Now I just want to get the damn thing purple. Since they're reworking the entire skill system, I really wonder how well that's going to work. Hello, Mr. Trader. Close, please. Wahoo. Hello, good sir. Howdy, survivor. Make yourself at home. I will. I'm gonna sell you these, because I really do not need them as cur at current point. Let's see, clothing, what do you have? Nothing that I care about. Weapons. Do do do. If I was really using a crossbow, I'd be tempted. It's a lot of reinforced steel. I sold him those. Mm. Plastic will become a very hard to find commodity, so I'm going to buy those while I can. Post. Ooh, a bookcase, but I'm not playing multiplayer, so if I play multiplayer, I'll buy these, put them in my base, and actually fill them with schematics. A secret stash. What do you got? Blade traps? Not bad. Bowstring? Already got a better one in my bow. I don't have metal painting yet. I don't care if I could find it out there. Darn, nothing for the chainsaw. I was really hoping to. Peace be with you, my friend. 
Didn't I find a third traitor? Yeah, I did too. Alright. We're gonna go to him next. I'm, I apologize profusely for this video seeming longer than normal, what with Horde Knight and all, but... Might as well. And with the way my OBS has been acting up, I would rather not have, like, lose any of what I'm doing. So it looks like I'm just gonna have to stick to my old guns and really not cut anything unless I feel it needs to be cut. It's just so irritating when that kind of stuff happens. Did I light on fire? Did my bike light on fire? I lit on fire, didn't I? Yeah, I lit on fire. Damn. Whoa! Oil shell! I love that they have actual oil shale nodes on the surface. I don't believe those nodes will actually lead to underground pockets. Wait, I found all my corn. I don't need to stop. Is that a military camp? Looks like it. It is. Lovely. There's another one down there. Hazmat? <laughs> Military? There we go. <laughs> How would you like to taste my new bow? Oh, he didn't like it. He did not like it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I bought a metal painting book. I'll take some free slugs. Fallen soldier. Gun parts. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anybody. Okay, now I'm just going to walk to this one quickly because it's nearby. I mean, why ride when you can run when it's like literally just down the hill? Damn, I was hoping that would be epic. Okay, frig lady, just... Fine. I'm a horrible shot with my bow. I'm not good at distances. Don't judge me. Oh, you couldn't even do that. Really? Bugger off. We'll go and get it later. <coughs> I 
Hajmat. Military. Don't break down your tent, buddy. I like your military tent. Well, more skill points, better. Okay, is anybody else around? That noise freaks me out. He's stuck in a circle. I can't believe I actually got him. Wait, what? There they are. Any other hashmat military? Knock knock, anyone home seriously? Huh, not even a sleeper. That kind of sucks. You know, since I want a rocket launcher one day, I'm not complaining. Alright, enough of the sidetracking. This video is going on long enough. We are going to get my characters... Probably scrawny butt to this traitor. Dang, nabbit, I want a chainsaw. Then I'll probably take a day hiatus inside the game, take care of my base a little bit, maybe work on the underground tunnel, making it seem a little bit more livable, smooth, and hollowing it out. Making myself a nice little cute mine shaft. Because why not? That's POI. Eh, it's just a camp. Those camps I've never really cared about. If I really want to get my cloth then yeah, I'm gonna care. It's kind of neat watching it zone in because it knows what's supposed to be there, but it just doesn't load it. Oh, hold on. There we go. Bye. Well, I think this area loaded a little bit last time I was here because of the trader. Could be why I'm getting a little bit better frames right beside it. I like that this trader is right beside a road. It's actually awesome. So I can just take the road. Did I explore that road? Didn't have to! Okay, traitor. Give me some goodness. You're not bringing counterfeit money in here, are you? How would you know if it's counterfeit, man? Like, really, how would you know? Hell, I don't even think my character would be able to tell. Ooh, look, oil shell. Now we'll start. Do -do 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 -do. Tempting. But I haven't done my money trick yet. Um, ooh, an anvil. Animal fat. Nothing else. Uh, Already know it. 
tools. Don't care. Chainsaw schematic. I was, I was almost thinking he had a chainsaw. Nice wrench. It's an almost perfect quality wrench. It's cheap enough, so I don't care. Oh, and I do not have enough money. That would have been nice. Like, really nice. And he's got pretty much nothing else. Well, that sucks. Oh, you want a guarantee, huh? Well, maybe you should try Shamway. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you shut up. Eh. Well, I think I'm going to sign off here. It's been fun. Running around. Horde night. A treasure. Thankfully, my recording program looks like it's working. I'm looking at the light blinking away on my hard drive, so that's always good. Like I said, I'll probably take an in-game day hiatus to do some organization, get my base up to snuff, clear out the corpses, deal with any roaming hordes that seem to be attracted to my base. And next time, I might go and check out a... Ah, a skyscraper, because I do have almost all of them to choose from in this town. Actually, you know what? No. No, I will be doing it. There is a pawn shop there. I want to do the pawn shop. I enjoy the pawn shop, because it has plenty of goodies inside. So that is what we are going to do. We will do the pawn shop next time gotta start sticking to plan. I swore I said I was going to do the pawn shop a while ago. But that's just me. You can see my floating safe from a distance. Best decision ever. Okay, everybody, I'm back home. I only kept recording in case something fun happened along the way, but it didn't. Whatever. I will catch you guys next time. Have yourselves a good one. And if you have any tips, tricks, or ideas for what you want me to do to my base, including painting, please let me know. I'm always up for wanting to do more. And I will see you all next time.